Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cool? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything to do with guy. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially with his mathematical brain.
Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in happening? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. What kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then? Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to see the business secret, especially when his mathematical is clever at cracking the Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes.
Captain's helm! Loose and catch the wind! Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. There aren't enough blankets in the world to keep you warm here. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall. Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Let's head it through. It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war will depend on it. Make good use of your own mortar ship. We'll prove crucial if we are to succeed. Damage report! We're heading for a crash zone! Oh, I can deal with one of the blue guns. Need On your mark! Fire! Watch that fire, Canada! Fire! 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 Fire!
Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Predator. That one. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Sharp to the wind. More sail! Give me more sail! More fire ships! Advantageous right now. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Fire. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. More enemy ships, sir. And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Here's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? 
It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Thank you.